This child has acute diarrhea. If not rehydrated immediately, he will die. Fortunately, health research conducted in Bangladesh has ensured that he and millions like him can be saved. These children are the future of our planet. Ensuring better health for them ensures a better future for the world. Poor health and child mortality are also related to the growing problem of overpopulation. Parents in developing countries see as many as one in four children dying before the age of five, and therefore have extra children to compensate. <laughs> To maintain the successes that population research has had in reducing population growth, health research and health programs are essential. The World Bank noted in its 1993 World Development Report that investments in health research and development have yielded high returns in better health. Recognizing this, over 30 donors support the work of a unique international health and population research organization the International Centre for Diarrheal Disease Research, Bangladesh. Bangladesh has a population of nearly 120 million and its population density of over 800 people per square kilometre is one of the highest anywhere in the world. Overcrowding, poverty and poor access to health services means that infectious diseases and malnutrition are common. Infant and maternal mortality remain extremely high. Working in this setting, ICDDRB is able to carry out large-scale research on health and population issues common to the developing world. Since 1960, the ICDDRB, or the International Center for Health and Population Research, has been recognized as a leading authority in the field of maternal and child health research in the developing world. Its initial contribution was in the field of diarrheal disease. As the discoverer of oral rehydration solution, the ICDDRB has contributed to saving at least a million children a year throughout the world. In addition, its contribution to the field of population research has had a significant impact on fertility in Bangladesh. More recently, the center has developed new initiatives in the field of maternal and child health. It has established international centers of excellence in nutrition, emerging infections, vaccine research, integrated management of childhood illness, and in reproductive health. In all of these activities, the center coordinates its research with the activities of the government of Bangladesh. Its goal is to improve the well-being of women and children throughout the world. In 1968, the first clinical trials of oral rehydration solution, or ORS, were completed at the Cholera Research Laboratory. It was a breakthrough hailed by the prestigious British medical journal Lancet as potentially the most important medical advance of this century. ORS has been estimated to be saving the lives of over one million children annually. Of the 12 and a half million children that die each year, uh, we still have uh, the lives of two million of them, at least two million of them, could be saved if all families would use oral rehydration therapy, which is now currently saving the lives of one million. Adoption of the ORS technology could save as much as half a billion dollars a year in the United States of America and 10 to 15 billion worldwide. Similarly, the research which demonstrated that the old injectable cholera vaccine gave extremely limited protection has saved the world billions of dollars after WHO stopped recommending it for all travelers. In 1993, a new strain of cholera, Vibrio cholera 0139, emerged. This strain is now spreading rapidly through Asia and is likely to cause a new global pandemic. The characterization of this new and emerging pathogen 
and the disease it caused was completed within a few weeks of its discovery by the scientists working at the center. Through this coordinated multidisciplinary effort, the world was warned of this new infectious agent, allowing preventive measures to be taken in anticipation of its spread. On examination, we had a radial pulse of... The center's two hospitals provide an effective mechanism for the study of cholera and other diarrheal diseases endemic in Bangladesh. The hospitals, backed by the laboratories, have allowed rapid completion of research on diagnostic techniques and specific nutritional and pharmaceutical interventions. <laughs> the laboratories were developed to study health problems commonly encountered in the developing countries using the most sophisticated modern equipment available. They bring together a critical mass of experienced experts in bacteriology, virology, parasitology, molecular biology, immunology, bacterial genetics, histopathology, nutrition, biochemistry, and environmental microbiology. To allow the rapid compilation of data collected by ICDDRB researchers, the center is equipped with advanced computer systems. The center's library data archives and publication facilities provide additional support by ensuring the quick and effective exchange and dissemination of information. The, group said that if mothers are the center also has new training facilities, including a 192-seat auditorium and two large seminar rooms equipped with the latest audio-visual equipment. The center's extensive rural and urban community health service delivery systems together with its excellent working relationships with the government of Bangladesh and non-governmental organizations operating in Bangladesh, provide exciting opportunities for social, behavioral, and operations research in a wide variety of settings. ICDDRB's MOT lab is described by international health and population research experts as an outstanding, unique, and inspiring field station. The survival system of MOTLAB offers an extraordinary facility for conducting health and population research that is international in its implications. There are two surveillance systems currently in operation, a record-keeping system and a demographic surveillance system. The record-keeping system, referred to as RKS, contains critical information on the health status and health service delivery in the Mott Lab intervention area. It includes births, contraception, immunization, and breastfeeding data recorded since 1977. This information and data on morbidity of children, including immunization status collected since 1986, provides an extremely valuable and useful set of information. The demographic surveillance system, DSS, includes the most comprehensive longitudinal demographic data set in the world. Together with RKS, the record keeping system, this data set offers an unparalleled volume of extremely high quality of data for development planning and health intervention research. In 1977, Maternal and Child Health and Family Planning, MCHFP, work began in MATLAB. The project was soon able to provide solid evidence that economic and social development is not a prerequisite for fertility reduction if contraceptive services can be introduced and sustained in a culturally appropriate manner. The program's success prompted the government of Bangladesh to request ICDDRB's assistance in developing an effective nationwide MCHFP service. The center's MCHFP extension project takes many of the components of the MATLAB MCHFP project and adapts them for wide implementation through the government system. Today, almost half of eligible couples are using some form of contraception and Bangladesh is being cited throughout the world as a family planning success story. 
Similar extension efforts are underway in the Urban Health Extension Project, which is working in collaboration with government and non-government agencies to take the centre's research findings and implement them in crowded slums of the capital. Similarly, CDDRB researchers are working with UNICEF and other agencies to improve water and sanitation, personal hygiene practices and nutrition. ICDDRB continues to examine the scheduling and delivery of vaccinations, work that has significant implications for developed and developing countries alike. ICDDRB's strategic plan addresses three key areas of strategic importance to the world in fields where the center has already demonstrated its comparative advantages and excellence. First is the area of child survival to be approached in an integrated manner. Diarrhea, acute respiratory infections, and six, immunization preventable diseases, which still account for two-thirds of childhood mortality in developing countries. The center will continue to spearhead research aiming at fighting these diseases. The second is reproductive health particularly women's reproductive health. Given the current trends in population growth and infant mortality, family planning and reproductive health must come at the top of the world health agenda in the 21st century. The center conducts applied research in these fields and offers appropriate services. Third and last, ICDDRB continues operations research for the effective application of existing technologies and assists in policy formulation in Bangladesh with global applications. ICDDRB recognizes and gives priority to the need to translate research findings into action. I had the privilege of visiting the center with my daughter when we traveled to South Asia. We saw firsthand its extraordinary health and family planning programs, programs that save lives, improve health, and give families control over their own lives and futures. Again and again, we find that what works in Bangladesh or Brazil can be used in places like Baltimore or Boston. Good ideas have a tendency to work well in a lot of places. ICDDRB is an organization with a long history of outstanding success and achievement. That success belongs as much to those who have helped to sustain the center as it does to those working there. ICDDRB is a cooperative effort. As the center prepares to face the global health and population challenges of the coming years, it calls upon your support. With the cooperation of all concerned, ICDDRB can continue to maintain its standards of excellence and to bring improved health for everyone, thus ensuring a better future for the world.